Okay, showing you how you can submit some form data and then get that form data in a readable format, which can be then sent out to an email where we've using the form submission data and notifying ourselves once that email has been submitted. That's coming up in this lesson. Let's go ahead and create a new form from our Google Sheet. So under the tools, create new form. So this is creating a form to the bound script. And then for the questions, we'll just ask the person's name for the short answer and then whatever the message that they want to send. And that will also be a paragraph. And so what we want to do is we want to select the ID value of the Google new form that we just created. And let's open up the script editor. And then within the script for the sheet, we're going to create a function values within the E object. So first off, let's uh, what we'll do is once the form gets submitted, we want to capture these values and then we're going to send an email with these values. So create a list of whatever we've got for the values. And that's going to be coming from the E named values. So we want to send an email with those values. So let's go ahead and we're going to create a subject for the email and then the email address that uh, we're going to be contacting to and sending it to and then a message that's going to contain those values. And right now what we'll do is we'll stringify the E values or we can just do a values here because we're going to be using these. And then that's going to give us all of the values. And then we want to send an email to the email address with the subject and whatever we've got the contents of the message. So once we've got that set up, what we want to do is then add a trigger. So going into the triggers, we're going to add a new trigger and the event is going to be on form submit. The source is going to be the spreadsheet and then it's going to send the email once we make a submission. So let's go ahead and we're going to submit some content into the form and then add in the fields and whatever we want for those fields. And that's providing the message information. So going back into the script, there's our email that we just got submitted. And that's the contents of the values that were submitted to the email. So now if we want to extract the message, the name and the email address, we can do that. And we can customize that information that we're sending out to that email. So let's go ahead and set up a body object and then customize the email that's going to be sent out using the values that we're getting from the forms. So this is just using whatever the form titles there are for the captions and outputting it into the string value. And we're going to be sending over the body contents and making it a little bit more readable. So we want to extract out whatever the email is. So just like it was sent over to us. So this is the content that was sent within an array format. And we can use this object information in order to customize what we're sending out. So it's within this object. If we want the timestamp, if we want the message, that's all contained. And this is also within an array format as well. So keep that in mind. So if we want to get the message, use the template literal format. And we're selecting the values and message. And we want to just select whatever the first item there is within the message. And then add in the other parameters. So the next one is going to be the name coming from the form field. And this is just going to be picking up the name object. And then we've also got the email address, which is automatically being captured. So add that in. And then this object is going to be the email address. So this one, we can use the bracket notation for email address. And then we can have the same format there. And we don't need a dot there. So just save that. And so we're throwing that error there. And let's uh, go back and we'll submit another response. So there's the name, my message, and then click submit. And let's see what we've got now within the inbox. So now it's a lot more readable message, 
my message, you know, that's the message that was sent, the name that was sent, and then the email address. So we're able to get all of those parameters coming right from our submission. And this is all done with the bound script coming from the Google Sheet.